Julia, live here in the UK, and to yeah. with Sandra Dickinson um, on set after you've just moments after you finished a performance. Indeed, I just got my curls out, <laughs> got the wig off. How did the matinee go? Fine, fine. It's really every time we do this play, it's a completely different reaction. Um, but one just has to go for it and really enjoy working with each other and hope that it works. And it, it, you know, it's a different audience every time. And but everybody does seem to really enjoy it. So. In case the people watching this didn't realise, this is a set that says Lucy. <laughs> they can see it. Yes. And it's I loved Lucy. Yes. Did you love Lucy as a young? I did. I did. I I grew up. Um, and she was big in the sort of. Well, 40s and 50s. Well, in Australia, we had reruns way. Well, yeah. I mean, my daughter was watching reruns yeah. um, long after the original. Everyone, everyone yeah, loved Lucy, yeah. didn't they? I mean, I grew up with all the kind of 50s American comedians and mm. comedians, and, mm. um, and I watched rerun after rerun after rerun, just like um, Lee. You were born in the U.S. I was born in Washington D.C. And you've spent a lot of your career. I came to England at the age of 20, and I came for a year, and it's now coming into the 48th year. <laughs> so my plans didn't really pan out the way I thought they were going to. That's life. Yeah, that's life. All that's showbiz. Like yes, yeah. Well, I, I, um, yeah, and I won't go into my <laughs> t tawdry past. But um, no, I, um, uh, I have a family here now, a mm. uh, daughter and grandchildren, mm. lovely husband, and mm -hmm. not in that order. Um, <laughs> a lovely husband should come for his. Um, uh, anyway, so my life just sort of took over and I never went back. Mm. But I do visit America a great deal. You've had a very varied career. Yeah, I have. I've been very, very lucky. Would, would you say that this role in I Love Lucy is, is something of a departure? I think it's the best departure? role I ever had. Right. Yeah, I think it's the best role I ever had. Um, it, Lee's play is delightful, yeah. beautifully written, I think. Um, it's a bit like a pinball to play, pinball machine. Because you're the, just you know you never know. I mean, it took a while to kind of figure out what was coming up next because um, it is very random the mm -hmm. the experiences and the, the scenes. But then <clears throat> once you do get to know what's coming next, there is a, a kind of through line. Of course, it's based on the book. It's based on his best-selling memoir of his life. Ten years with her, and it's and it's it's a it's a I call it a love letter because he was yeah. someone who was a big fan who yeah. through family connections became a very close and intimate friend in the yeah. la later years yeah. of her life. Yeah. Um, are you aware how uncanny your resemblance to Lucille Ball is? It was quite scary when I put the red wig on. <laughs> how similar our faces were. Yeah. Um, she used to draw on these big sort of flying buttress lips, which yeah. I do for the play as well, but. Um, I think it is slightly uncanny, really. Do you, do you know what I loved about your performance? Um, is that... Just it's everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was... It was um, it's, 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 it's a cute play. There's not a lot of humour in it. There is humour. There's You know, it's a, it's a dramatic telling of a relationship. Yeah, yeah. But what I got from you was that I knew you were funny. Do you know what I mean? It's, you weren't doing Lucille Ball shtick. Yeah. But... For me, your performance was all about what you didn't say, or what you were hearing, or what you were thinking underneath, or... That's great. Yeah. I mean, it's, that's it's great. really something else. Yeah, that's great. How do you approach a role like that? Um, well, I mean, you look, I went back and I looked at some of her shows and the interviews and um, to kind of get her physicality and everything. But I also, um, I had a very strong, very funny mother and a very strong, very funny father. Um, and the American humor, I was that's in my blood, you're just gone, from the two gone, of them, yeah. yeah. Um, and my, I'm not gonna go into detail here again, but my life experiences are uncannily like hers. Uh, she only had two marriages, I'm on my third. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, a lot Third of... Third time lucky, basically. That's right, I, that's right. I'm married to the younger man. It's so cute. But so much of my experience in life was like hers. I mean, I, I went through a time when I was very, very well known. Not like Lucy. I wasn't known in 99% of the homes anywhere, you mm. know. But, um, and I've had a lot of the experiences that she had, so I can draw on them. Mm. I mean, as I say, I didn't have this gargantuan fame mm. that she enjoyed or didn't enjoy, I guess, because it did keep her in the house a lot. <laughs> but um, 
so it, I, I had a lot of that to draw on, and, and watching her and watching the episodes and reading his book and, you know, and Lee has been lovely because he's um, been there for me, you know, with advice like, lower, say it lower. <laughs> oh, lower, you gotta be low. <laughs> That's exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, he when he first met me, he thought, no, 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 this isn't what we're looking for. Because I have a quite a high voice, but I also have a very big range. Yeah. So he didn't. He wasn't really aware of how, uh, how low he, I did, can he, go. Did, he didn't know you were a nice baritone. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> now this is a two-hander. Yeah, which is the first time. Own. No, I I've not done a two-hander until this play. Really? Yeah. And now I'm working with Stefan Manol or Schwark. Um but he's an actual American, so the detail is very, very uh, much there. Mm. And each thread. I was going to say, the accent, the accent is very good. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, it's very good. Um, and he's naturally very, very funny. Mm. And he's very kind of Woody Allen esque, mm. and um, we just work really well together. He's mm. a delight. Mm. He really is a delight to work with. Mm. And it's really fun to actually be working with someone who actually does speak my native tongue, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, because I found things in it this time that, that I hadn't found before. Well, I was going to say, um, not, there's not a lot of uh, projects in any career where you get to revisit something. Yes, and, and interestingly enough, Anthony Biggs, the director, um, really, really, really worked on the detail this time around and got stuff out that, that we hadn't even seen before. So it's been delightful. What's what's next? Is there a possibility of a transfer? Would well, there's mean? lots of talk about. Yeah. I mean, they did they did it here before, and they felt that it was sort of there was still unfinished business, mm. so they remounted it. Um, and there is a lot of talk about doing it here, there, and everywhere. Um, would well, you ever think of doing it back in the states? Well, interestingly enough, um, Stefan and I are gagging to do it in the states. <laughs> <laughs> um, because, of course, the, it, that's a huge market for mm. Lucy. Mm. I'm, you know, that's where she was known in 99% yes, of course. the films. So, um, but it's just, a, I think they want to try and do it one more time in London before they start thinking. But, I mean, I would love to do it in California, where mm. my brothers are, so they can see the show. Mm. Um, and it would be great to go to New York again. I've only, I've only been to Broadway once with Not About Nightingales, Tennessee Williams' first play. So that would be really fun to go there again. Mm. Um, but but Stefan and I are American. We could go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Anywhere. If anyone's watching, <laughs> yes. What we're thinking is what we should do is open the show in every city, <laughs> and then somebody and leave else. It to someone else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's um, the way to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No, I, it's a lovely, lovely thing to do. Um, I can't tell you how lovely it is to be in this theatre because it's so intimate. Yeah. The design is is really good. Yes, yes. It just spells... Gregor Donnelly. Yeah, it just, it just spells, you know, yeah. stardom and yet yeah. intimacy. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, no, it works it's very so well. That. It's been a delight to speak to you. Thank you so I much. I wish you every success thank in the going forward, and I hope we cross paths again. Lovely, thank you so much.